cavemen made better knives out of freaking rocks than this. What's up, fishy friends? Welcome to Tim School of Fish and class is in session. Man, man, you always say you love every single knife on your channel. Every knife you show is the greatest and you love it. All right, smart asses. I got one for you today and I absolutely freaking hate everything about this knife. I despise this knife. I hate everything about it. And if you know me, you get one guess who makes this knife. You guessed it, bitch made. I mean, bench made. This is the bench made shootout, and I hate everything about this knife. The worst knife ever made. Now, you guys know that I'm not a huge bench made fan, but I got my hands on that mini Adira from the water collection. Meh, I, I kind of like that one I don't hate that one it I was starting to be like hmm maybe I want to check out some other knives from this water collection and I've been looking at those two fixed blades from the water collection not the fillet knife but the other two fixed blades and thinking hmm if I ever buy a bench made it might be one of those and I've got the bench made north fork sitting over there that I have to review and I don't hate that one either now, you guys know that I hate the Benchmade prices. I think they're overpriced, all of them. All of them. Not just the Benchmade Narrows, all of them. All of them. They are all overpriced by at least $50. At least $50. All of them. All of them. But this one, this one, I hate this one. I hate everything about this one. This one is the bitch made shootout. The shootout. Grivery handles. Yes, that cheap, shitty plastic that feels like cheap, shitty plastic. Then we got some skateboard deck tape right here or something. Some freaking sandpaper. We've got that giant ass bitch made clip on there we've got a glass breaker which i hate on a knife i think it's freaking gimmicky uh, whatever uh, whatever uh, glass breaker bead don't like glass breaker beads don't like them big giant holes don't like grivery hate that freaking skateboard tape on there I'm not a big fan of OTFs either. Now, I get it. It's super tactical. Lots of people love OTFs. That's not what I hate about this knife. I don't hate that it's an OTF. I hate the materials. I hate the clip. I hate the glass breaker bead. I absolutely hate the price. I'll talk more about that in a minute. But what I hate the most about this knife is the switch and the action not the design of the switch necessarily but the action just feels gritty and just feels cheap when it fires out of there a boker kalashnikov out the side feels better feels more substantial fires out of there better than this one and this is a brand new knife this has never been used, okay? It's, I just, uh, I hate that butterfly logo. This is like some PVC coated, I mean PVD coated freaking, the action on this is absolute shit. Absolute shit. It, you know them little, them, what do you call them? A little jack in the box. The little metal jack in the box that they made in the freaking 40s and 50s and 60s and 70s and even in the 80s. And you just turn it, turn it, turn it. And then put the little, the little dude jumps out of the little box, right? Uh, the little jack in the box. That's what this feels like. When this knife deploys, it feels like a jack-in-the-box. 
jumping out of the little aluminum freaking toy from that I had in the 70s. And if you're older than me, you had it in the 60s or the 50s. It's a classic freaking toy. I think we all had a jack in the box. That's what this feels like. That's what it feels like when it deploys. The trigger on here, the switch, whatever the hell you call it, it just everything about this I hate. I hate the way it feels in my hand. I hate the action on this knife. This knife is $300, people. Now, I'm not a huge fan of OTFs, but I've handled a bunch of Microtech uh, Ultratechs that I handled that EMP EDC Pulse at Blade Show. I've handled some other ones. I can't remember the name of them. Every single one that I have handled feels better, looks better, has better action. In fact, Gweg over there at G-Ball Vision just reviewed two new Shrade, China-made Shrade, which I love, by the way. I love Shrade. Historic American company. More historic than freaking bitch made. Uh, I love Shrade. I don't care if their knives are made in China. They used to be USA made. Historic American company Shrade has two new uh, OTF autos. I would rather have one of those than this. And I've never even handled those OTF autos. Greg, if this was my knife, and it would never be my knife because bitch made. But if it was my knife, I would trade you this for one or both of those Shrade OTFs. That's how much I hate this knife. That's how much I hate this knife. That is how much I hate this knife. I would trade this knife for a $6 Rough Rider every day of the week. Every day of the week. This is the single worst knife that I have ever handled, ever. This is the single worst knife in the history of knives. Cavemen made better knives out of freaking rocks than this. Cavemen, Cro-Magnon man, Homo Squirtius made better knives than this right here. The single worst knife I've ever handled, the single worst knife I've ever looked at. In fact, I'm pissed that I even requested to handle, to see this knife. This is a pass around knife. This is not my knife. I don't own any bench mates. I've told you I don't own any bench mates. I'll never own any bench mates. However, those, those, two, those two fixed blades from the water collection, if I find those on sale, if I can find one of those maybe on the secondary market used for, you know, 140, 50, I, I might jump on that. But this, 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 this Jack in the Box freaking Lincoln Log Tinker Toy piece of shit, $300 for this. I'd rather have a Boker Kalashnikov every day of the week. I'd rather have a Shrade OTF every day of the week. I would rather have a Switchblade comb than this shit right here. $300, people, for plastic grivery and the worst action on any knife that has ever existed in the history of knives right here. The bitch made shootout. If you're going to spend $300 for an OTF auto, spend $40 or $50 more and get yourself a Microtech Ultratech. Spend whatever it is on the EMP EDC Pulse. Spend whatever on any other auto than this auto, the Benchmade Shootout. Worst knife in the history of knives. I hate everything about that knife. Now, I know I've pissed off the fanboys, but whatever. Whatever, guys. Yeah, come on, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. You have got to be kidding me. 
Now, with that said, thank you, Zach, for providing this knife to the Pass Around group. I really appreciate the opportunity to handle this one, and I thank you for sharing it with me. And no offense intended whatsoever to anyone who might like these knives. Uh, you have every right to love this knife. You have every right to love Benchmade. I recently did a video called You Are Being Influenced. Make your own decisions. If you love this knife, I have no problem with you loving this knife. And I would never shame you for loving this knife. However, I think it's the worst piece of shit ever made in the history of knives. Everything about this knife is absolute dog shit. As always, I appreciate you for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment down in the comment section. Let me know what you think of the bitch made shootout. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Just click my logo right over there. That's it for this episode of Tim School of Fish, boys and girls. Class dismissed.